Hello and welcome back to Diablo 4 again. We're going 105. Give it another go. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can do better than yesterday. Um, yeah, where we got we got to the boss and 30 more seconds on that timer, I would have done it. But disappointingly, we didn't. Um, I was planning on streaming yesterday, uh, but didn't get a chance to because my new router arrived, which is some magical fancy Asus thing. Um, it's one of their new is it an RT-BU88T or some, something insane like that. Um, cost 350 quid. So it's, it's definitely not a cheap router. Um, and it has two 10 gig inputs for like WAN. Shit, I'm not concentrating. I'm, I'm more interested in talking about my router. Because <laughs> um, my new router, yeah. Two 10 gig WAN inputs. Um, so one of them's FSP plus, and the other one is just normal RJ45 10 gig. Um, but the really cool thing, it's got eight LAN ports on it, and four of those LAN ports are 2.5 gig, which is really nice when I have pretty quick internet for for the UK I have pretty quick internet I have um, a 1.6 gigabit connection um, and that basically means on one gig LAN I can't make use of my entire connection which is annoying um, and the the equipment provided by my ISP only only has um, one gig LAN ports so you get 1.6 coming in but you can only output one gig to any one device it has got Wi-Fi 6 so Theoretically, over Wi-Fi, you could do 1.2 gigabit, but I prefer because I have the ability to have everything wired in. Um, I want it wired in. I need to just keep going and finding. There we go. Yeah. So if you if you've got the ability to wire your PC in, it's always better. Um, so yeah, I just bought the router, came yesterday, spent about two hours when I got home from work trying to get it working, which was absolutely brilliant. I ended up ringing my ISP because um, it wouldn't connect, like it would get given an IP address like a WAN IP address and then wouldn't connect to the outside world at all. Uh, which was really bugging me for a little while and I thought, screw it, I'm just going to call them. They've, there's probably a switch on their end that they just have to flick and away we go. No, not at all. Um, I had managed to put in the like ISP login information slightly wrong. I've managed to put two R's in broadband, which, yeah, doesn't work, sadly. You get your ISP login slightly wrong and it shits itself. So that was, come on, yes, he's down. That was a waste of quite a lot of time. I 
Um, but yeah, now I can actually make use of a full 1.6 gig connection on one system. Which is cool. I know when I was, when I was talking to the the engineer on my ISP engineer, he was just like, I have only spoken to one other person with the 1.6 gig package. Um, yeah, they they were also complaining that um, the ISP equipment isn't really good enough. Um, but he also said, like, you're less than one percent of customers <laughs> with with the big package. Um, that sounds wrong, uh, but yeah, that's what I spent yesterday doing. I should be live streaming tonight, um, and if I am, I will show you what what I get upload and download. Upload's pretty poor actually, it's not a symmetrical connection which would have been awesome but in the UK you never get offered symmetrical connections because no one uses massive upload really unless you're a business and I'm not a business. Maybe one day I will be streaming enough from home that I can just be like Give me a symmetrical business line. Um, but for now, 100 megabyte or 115 megabyte upload is strong enough for me. Jesus, we're finally getting through the portal. I've spent the last six minutes talking about internet. Um, I'm just kind of excited that I can actually make use of my entire connection. It wasn't bad before. I was like 900 meg download. Um, but yeah, when you pay for, when you're paying for whatever it is, 1.6 gig and you can only use 70, 60, 70% of it, to one device, it's a bit annoying. I would like to hear how other people, if there's anyone watching that has has or had the same problem, I'd like to know how you got round your ISP providing you with rubbish equipment. I must wait a Because my other my my other solution was going to be um, having to uh, having to tie two one gigs together into a switch that supported that. Because weirdly enough, my ISP equipment you can like bind two lands together, but just came with four one gigs even though it's got a 2.5 gig in which is just a bit stupid so we've been buying an expensive switch um, and then messing around with WAN's uh, land settings and stuff I don't really want to do I could do it but it's just the time it takes to sort out and if it ever goes wrong it's a pain in the arse so I was just like right buy this router that will more or less fix all my problems it's also Wi-Fi 7 so it's not like MIMO Wi-Fi 7 but it is like one Wi-Fi 7 connection can, could potentially do 5 gig I think 5000 something megabyte which again is just it's nuts like why would anyone need Wi-Fi like that like even if I do a speed test on my phone my phone can't actually keep up like it starts off really good like 
1.2 gig and then it just drops to like five or six hundred after ten seconds because it just can't handle the, that amount of data oh shit 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 come on I'm really close now just Kill that last one, and I will have the portal. Come on. There we go. Four, was that four minutes? Four and a half minutes to kill the boss now. Kind of worried. Who is it, Scourge? Oh, you're all right. Scourge of the land isn't too bad. It all depends on what, um, what, like, summony attacks he has. But that wall one's fine, you just like duck out in a corner. And you can't really do much. Jesus Christ. I said this last time, it's a crazy amount of health. his walls can hit me. None of his explodey walls. I'm just waiting for the next... Who's going to be the next um, summon I get? Oh shit. He's um, actually managing to get me. He's going to be stunned again in a second. Come on. Maybe one more stun and he'll be down. Oh, tornadoes. Come down here a little bit, get away from him. Shit. I'm not ready yet. Okay. Hopefully we won't have to deal with the big summon again. Hopefully, I can tank out that. Come on, stun him once more. Just keep using potions, even though, yeah, stunned, he's down. Oh, Jesus. So, 104, all done. Lovely. Um, no, not 104, 105. 105. We didn't get any greater aspect stuff, which I'm getting a bit annoyed by this. I've done quite a lot of pits now in a row and never got, not got a greater aspect thing at all. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> Just a common ancestral ring. And it's 200,000 gold. But I'm selling him ancestral legendary stuff for 60,000. That is one insane markup. I've not actually seen a vendor selling any sort of ancestral legendary stuff yet. But I imagine the cost has got to be something ridiculous. Like three or four million must be 
wonder what this actually sells for. So, so nearly two hundred and ninety thousand, and you sell it back for ten. Jesus, can you imagine if like supermarkets put that sort of market markup on everything? We'd be paying like thirty quid for a loaf of bread. Ah. Uh. Right, we'll sell that. <laughs> that was a nice way of losing, like, losing a few thousand gold. Um, oh, man. We did die once. That's a bit of a disappointment. I don't think... Yeah, I haven't got enough to temper anything, masterwork anything up at the moment. But, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want. Um, tell me about your internet problems. I love sort of brainstorming um, how to fix people's internet problems. I work in an IT shop, like fixing stuff, and I get a surprising amount of people coming to me like, my Wi-Fi is crap. I can't get it in the upstairs back bedroom and that's where I've put my office. Well, why, why did you put your office in the upstairs back bedroom? <laughs> um, and yeah, I usually end up recommending just like a mesh Wi-Fi system because they're so easy to set up. But when I show people what I have, it scares them because I now have a 550 pound router which is insane. No one, no normal person requires this. Um, and my mesh network setup was like a Wi-Fi 6E setup from 18 months ago, I think I've had it. It might be more. The two nodes have 2.5 gig inputs, which is nice because the router has, I can have 2.5 gig to go to each node. Um, they're wired backhaul as well, so not backhaul over Wi-Fi. I could backhaul over Wi-Fi if I wanted to, but again, I've said I prefer wired. And yeah, I just show them the set I have on Amazon and it's like, oh, they're 350 pounds. Um, yeah, we don't want to spend that much. Okay, well, here's the cheaper set Asus do, and it's like 100 quid. And they're like, well, that's still a bit much. And I'm just like, well, you're not going to fix... You're not going to fix powered Wi-Fi for cheap. Like, especially in UK houses. Everything's brick. Or, well, older houses, everything's brick. And, like, my house, all the internal walls are brick. Um, they're like four inches, five inches thick. And Wi-Fi just doesn't travel through it. Um, yeah, so you need you need a couple of nodes around the house. And I have my router downstairs, which covers the entirety of the downstairs. I have one node upstairs. And then my second node that I used to have downstairs, that is now spare, um, sit well, it's unused, but is going to go get wired in to, like, my outhousey shed. Um, because that that's attached to the house. But the external wall from the house into that is double skin, block inside, brick outside. And you don't get Wi-Fi through that. Um, yeah, okay, that's my that's my little rant about Wi-Fi done. <laughs> Sorry about that, I just, yeah, I'm quite happy about, like, having good internet. It's, I also have it connected to a UPS, so power cuts, fine, I can deal with it. Because usually the, the cabinets out in the street don't go down on power cuts. For some reason, I think they're all wired in. Like with the sig like signaling cables, they're all wired in, like daisy chained off of one another. But anyway, 
thanks for watching like and subscribe leave a comment whatever um i'll see you all next time